Hey gang, Ben Foreman here, lead pastor at Sherwood Christian Church, and I'm just getting ready for week three of the story. And in week three, we are going to talk about Joseph. And as you read the chapter and get ready to study this portion of the Bible this week, I thought it would be good to get a summary from the man himself. I hope you enjoy uh, this rundown from Joseph. And these are the diaries of Joseph. These are the diaries of Joseph. You may think you know, dudes, but you have no idea. People are all like, oh, Joseph, must be so nice, dude. Number two in Pharaoh's army, nice job. Must be a nice job if you can get one like that, dudes. I'm all, dudes, you don't know where I came from, man. You don't know where I lived when I was young and what I did in junk. You don't even, you, you just don't even know. See, this is my old neighborhood, dudes. Yeah, 12 brothers crammed into 12,000 square feet house. You don't think that's inhibitable? I don't think so, dudes. Yeah, this is where I'm from, dudes. So one day my dad got me this coat, right? It had many colors, dude. And I looked so good in it, man. And my dad was all, yeah. And I was all, yeah, it was awesome. So I went out and showed my brothers, you know, cause I was all looking good and, and they were all, huh? And I was all, huh? And they were all, and I was all, mm -hmm. and they were all, and I was all, they're all threw me into a pit. I'm, they're like, should we kill him or should we sell him into slavery? And I'm all like, Dude, I held that grudge for a while. I'm not kidding you. So then I'm getting along pretty good with Potiphar, you know, because I'm all looking good, you know, and I'm all like accounting and junk, which he really needs. And so we're getting along good. And he's all like, hey, Joseph, why don't you be first in command in junk? And I'm all like, First in command, dudes. And then all of a sudden, his wife's all like, hey, Joseph. And I'm all. Hmm? And she's all. And I'm all. And she's all. And I'm all. She's all. And I'm all out of the house. And she's all, oh. Husband, Joseph raped me, all right? So I'm all in jail now, dudes. I went to jail for a long time, dudes. I mean, for like the prime of my life, dude. It was long. And I know a lot of people in jail say this and stuff, dudes, but I did not deserve to be there. There was this one dude that was really bothered by this dream he was having, right? So then the Lord gave me the interpretation of the dream, so I knew exactly what it was, so I told him. I said, dude, here's the deal with your dream. He was so grateful. He was like, dude, I am getting out of prison, man. Is there anything I could do for you, man? And I was all like, yeah, just one thing, man. Like, I'm in jail. So if there's anything you could say to somebody or something like that to get me out of jail because I'm in jail? That would be awesome, dude. <laughs> well, he forgets for a few more years. And then, you know, finally Pharaoh has the same problem. And so they brought me in and that's basically how I became Pharaoh's, you know, second in command kind of deal. So there you go. These are the diaries of Joseph. You may think you know, dudes, you have no idea.